is up everybody, I am TMNT Guy, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Wenwu. In the top left corner, it says that the build-up figure is Marvel's Mr. Hyde, the Shang-Chi symbol is on the top of the box, and it's for ages 4 and up. Above the blister bubble, it says Legend Series, and in the blister bubble, it fully showcases the figure, and at the bottom of the blister bubble, it says um, the title of the movie, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and the character's name, which is Wenwu. Hasbro. On either side of the box, there's a picture of Wenwu. Really nice character art. And on the back of the box is another picture of Wenwu with the bio. It says, Shang-Chi's father, Wenwu, is the feared leader of the Ten Rings organization, which has lurked in the shadows of the MCU since the very beginning. Ooh. At the bottom, it shows the build a figure and all the parts you need to build him, and uh, the list of characters um, needed to complete the build a figure. Um, and then there are some warnings, some more warnings, or just words, and the character will be out of the box in three, two, one. So here's the figure. Uh, this figure has a lot going on, a lot, a lot, a lot going on, uh, way less than Shang-Chi did, but let's just go over the design. So he has black hair like, um, his son, he, the photorealistic face is on point it's really 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 accurate he you can tell he's older uh his arms on either of his forearms he has five rings making 10 he has a black shirt on this arm he had a oh, what and it's rolled up to his elbows on his left arm he has a navy blue shoulder pad and across his right shoulder down his torso is this blue satchel with kind of like a shoulder pad sort of thing and uh it has a different design you can kind of see right there, there's like ridges that, it's kind of like bumpy, the, the, the feel of the design. So I appreciate how every single little tiny detail on the uh, front is all painted on his torso. But then on the back, they leave so much out. And I feel like if they're like, I, I can tell that this whole part is, is made, is, I, would, I would assume it would be, it would be blue. Because like this design right here, and that looks there, they look the same, but like they left out all the texture on this one. They didn't color it. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like if they're if you're gonna give him a lot of little tiny details, you can't leave so much out. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, moving lower around his waist, he has this blue, his this white cloak that has blue designs on it. Um, I actually really like the designs. It uh. It, it fits the character. Between his legs, he has a black flap, and he has the same sort of pants that Sh uh, Shang-Chi had. He has, are those knee pads? Yes, he does have knee pads. He did not have shoulder pads. No, not shoulder, sorry, elbow. He did not have elbow pads. He has knee pads, and then his boots, around the um, cuffs of the boots, he has this silver design that uh, goes around the cuff and then goes down the back of his leg almost to his heel. I actually really, really like that. I feel like that also fits the character. The bottom half, I think, is simple enough. And the top, I, I like how the character looks from the front. But then when you turn it around, I just feel like the lack of the back is kind of... Yeah, like also up here on, the, on this shoulder, he had the blue painted here, but it's not painted here. And I guess they made up for that by having the huge... Anyway, I... Uh... Well, that's the design of the figure. Overall, it's pretty good, now that I take a closer look into it. So, articulation. The head can go all the way around. It can go up and it can go down. The arms can go um, full around. Um, the shoulder can go out uh, almost to 90 degrees. There is a swivel at the bicep. There are... Are there double-jointed? There are double-jointed elbows. He has a swivel at his uh, wrist and a bend at his wrist. Um, fix that really fast. Then he has a swivel at the waist and a crunch, all in the same uh, um, area. Then his legs are kind of hindered by the cloak, but they can move out. They cannot really go back, either of them. But then there's a, um, a swivel at the thigh. There are double jointed knees that can't go to its full extent because of the cloak. I don't want to damage that. Um, and then there is 
no swivel at the boot, even though it looks like a separate joint. And then the ankle can go um, up and down and it can swivel. So there's the articulation. So this is the weapon that Wen Wu comes with. It the met um the gray plastic has a shiny gloss to it, and there's a hook on the end and a nice texture right here. The part that Wen Wu grips onto has a black wrap, and it's just a really nice design for the weapon overall. This will definitely be one that Wen Wu holds in my display. Uh, in the box, I believe that Wen Wu comes with these fisted hands, and I love the vein design on the back of them. It just really gives the hand a lot of depth and detail. Uh, he also comes with these gripping hands. And like I said with the other ones, the veins give them a lot of detail, but also based on the position the hand is, it, the, the, where the vein design would go. Like these two, the veins are in different places. Wen Wu finally also comes with these hands where his index finger and middle finger and his thumb are um, in like a claw gripping position. And it's like, it's like a fighting pose. And uh, those hands are also really neat. The design on them just make me want to interchange them a lot. The, finally, for when was build a figure piece, he comes with uh, Mr. Hyde's right arm. Uh, there's some on his hand. There's a lot of detail. <laughs> there's like a um, little pimple right there. Uh, his nails look very charred and gross. And then he has some hair on the back of his hand. Uh, his um, coat arm, you can see the white shirt underneath and his black, I, I mean his Bruh. green suit is uh, very nice, very textured. And you can see his muscles up here. And the coat button down there is just really neat. His hand can swivel all the way around and slightly go back and forth. And it bends, the arm bends at the elbow. No swivel though. And then when it's connected to the rest of the build figure, it will go, it will move like this at the shoulder, but there, it, there won't be a swivel. Um, with, um, Mr. Hyde's weapon also comes with Wenwu. It's this long staff with a brown handle. And I really, really, really like this weapon because you can see all of the little dents and scratches in it. And that shows that it's old and has been beaten and used. And there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching my review of Mar the Marvel Legends Wenwu from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, you can see right here that I used one of the hands that came with Chung chi because they're kind of interchangeable. And I use a uh, lightning effect from a Miles Morales Marvel Legend just to give the ten rings a little more pop. And there you guys have it. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.